Welcome to JSA TV, where we're covering the latest news, trends, and innovations from thought leaders from within the digital infrastructure industry. And we are coming at you live from PTC 2025 in beautiful Honolulu, Hawaii. That was such a mouthful for me, Regis. I'm impressed. That was, that was well done. <laughs> Thank you very much. And th this handsome fellow to my left is Regis Malloy. Regis is the Chief Growth Officer at Flexnode. Regis, welcome to JSA TV. Say, say that five times fast. Yeah. <laughs> yeah no, thank no. you. Thank, thank you, Dean. Yeah, Happy no. to be here. Yeah, no, and thank you for not making me say that five times fast. <laughs> but hey, look, we're going to talk about something that I have heard a ton about, um, and that is scalability and why it's so important and why um why it's something that so um in one of my notes it says ranging from one megawatt to over 200 megawatts that is a scale that's a big range that is yeah. a big that's a big scale let's talk about why that's important i think it's important because you know the industry it's going through major transformation right yeah. now right with the advent of ai and much greater adoption of high performance compute mm -hmm. The size of data centers is getting bigger because the IT workloads happening inside of them have gotten bigger. And so um, that alone means that that entities like ours have to be able to scale. Mm -hmm. And for Flexnode, where we build modular data centers, um, speed and scale are are two of the most foundational hallmarks of yes. modular builds. And that's for a couple of different reasons. We work really closely with our customers um, to configure a solution that's exactly what they're looking for down to the millimeter and the watt. We do all of that digitally before we ever do anything else. And then we build centrally, right? We fabricate the data center centrally. Mm -hmm. So we're leveraging um, skilled labor in a central location, right? Because there's a scarcity of labor too, because the industry is growing so much. <clears throat> all of that lends itself to speed, to efficiency, and we can scale and repeat that like mm -hmm. rinse and repeat over and over again to give our customers exactly what they're looking for from a data center time and again in multiple locations um and then from a from a so that that addresses both the speed yeah. and i think the, the scalability component of it and with densities changing right the, the density well, literally grown, overnight oh, and then yeah. tomorrow night and tomorrow, the next night the next night <laughs> yeah, right. right we're gonna have to do this again every night we're gonna have <laughs> yeah. to meet up um perfect. i think yeah <laughs> it's the dean and regis show <laughs> perfect so, i love it yeah we gotta, we gotta trademark yeah, yeah, yeah. that yeah, yeah yeah um with densities you know in most of my career in the data center space right densities just increased incrementally yeah. rather yeah. predictably and kind of pleasantly three five seven <laughs> ten like megawatts okay i'm this. comfortable with right. this this rate of right. uh yeah density increase and everything that all of us have built highly efficient right air cooled but now with densities, you know, 50 kilowatts, we've built to 132 kilowatts for the latest NVIDIA GPU array. Not to and, name and, drop. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no, that's awesome. Our dear friends. Yeah, yeah. NVIDIA and, yeah, yeah. And, and, and other wonderful chip makers. Yeah. And um, that is only the beginning, right? That only the ramp beginning. Is going on and on upward and quickly. And so not only does that warrant a different type of cooling, but an entirely different type of construct, right? And so groups we work with are deploying 40 kilowatts, 132 kilowatts, and they wanna be ready for what's next, whether it's 300 kilowatts, 700, et cetera. That becomes very challenging in a traditional yeah. build, but with modular, you can accomplish that because you have um, environments that are purpose-built to support those kinds of densities. Regis, that was absolutely my very next question. Honestly, I, I, because, you know, when I when I think about a modular data center, I think this is something that needs to put be put real close to something else. Right. Right. Um, and so and that that something else usually has an application that's going to mean high density, high scalability, which is why a flex node has to exist, which is why we need you. Well, thank you. And I yeah. agree wholeheartedly. <laughs> and it's also, it's a both and, right? The yeah. industry is moving really in, in multiple directions at once. Clearly, data centers are getting larger. Everything we just talked about, about yeah. both scale and density, um, exascale data centers and so forth. But with the advent of inference that's coming mm -hmm. as one of the next waves of AI, those are going to be relatively smaller. Yeah. Still very large compared to builds of even a five year five years ago and for so sure. forth. 
And I think FlexNode is extremely well suited to support those because again, we're modular. So we can yeah. have a five megawatt offering or a 25 megawatt offering, et cetera. And those can get deployed in multiple locations, um, oftentimes near other infrastructure, whether it's substations, mm -hmm. et cetera, uh, reduce latency, efficient use of power, on and on. Okay, you, you said the word or the acronym AI. Um, how is AI changing? And I feel like you've probably answered this, but I'm going to make you do it again. <laughs> how has AI fundamentally changed the game for a modular data center like FlexNode? I, I don't think you can <laughs> fundamentally state yeah. how, or overstate. Yeah. Yeah, I guess you could understate. Anyway, there'll be no stating here. Yeah. Um, it is, it, it's absolutely transformational, right? Yeah. I mean, the vast, there are millions of square feet of data center capacity in the United States alone. And they're largely full of CPU based, mm -hmm. air cooled IT workloads. Mm -hmm. And, and there is a major supply demand imbalance right now, right? Yeah. There's such a dearth of inventory to support those workloads. And those workloads are growing at a healthy clip. Yeah. Then you lay on top of that AI. An AI GPU based, mostly liquid cooled, or certainly going forward for the next product sets coming out, requires an entirely new inventory. And again, for the the reasons I just articulated so effectively, <laughs> modular perfectly think, Regis. Think, yeah, modular is is great for that. And I think AI, um, it is it is permeating every aspect of both business and consumer lives. Mm -hmm. And, and that makes it transformational because it's not as though it's, it's, um, dedicated to a certain discipline or to a certain industry. You're seeing it across That's life it. sciences. You're seeing it across finance. You're seeing it across, um, media and entertainment and all healthcare. And, and, right. Yeah. Right. And it will be, and you know, many others who are a lot smarter than I have already said this before, but you think of like, these inflection points that we have, dot com, cloud, et cetera, AI looks like it will eclipse even those in terms of the impact it has I on think AI, our economy and our society. I, okay, you opened up a can of worms that I feel like we could talk about, we should talk again, because um, I could not agree more. This industry, this, this event, mm -hmm. and the people in this event impact every single other industry known to man ever. Right. Right, and, it, and it's only going to increase. Um, Unfortunately, our time has decreased. Darn it. I know. <laughs> anyway, Regis, um, I know it's your first time. Uh, you're a natural. <laughs> um, well, so thank thanks, thanks for joining us on JSA TV. Thank you. Thank you very much, Dean. You bet. Take and care. thank you, viewers, for watching JSA TV. Stay curious, stay connected, and we'll see you soon.